Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Lately, I've got a lot of questions about losing weight. And many people ask me what to do, how to exercise, what supplements to take. And um, it's quite an interesting question. I think that none of that is required to lose weight. I would like to create a step-by-step -step guide how to start your journey, not just lose weight, but keep it down. Not the way that everyone perceives to be normal, but what you would like to achieve. And as part of my video, I'll put all the links of products and guides what I'm talking about in video descriptions. Please check them out. So first question I would like to ask, if someone trying to lose weight, obviously they had the journey how they gained that weight. So I think first step, instead of going to gym and smash it and, you know, create an injury or go on some sort of silly diet plan when you don't enjoy your food anymore, I would start asking easy questions. What has happened that you lose weight? People around me gaining weight and struggling to lose in certain ways. Some people um, consume a lot of carbohydrates. I already created a video um, why we're getting fat and it has to do with insulin. If you'd like me to uh, elaborate on that or expand on that, please let me know I'll create another video. Uh, in, in other words, when you consume fat, you cannot store this fat. When you consume protein and you exercise, it will work for you to repair muscles. But if you don't exercise enough and you consume too much protein, amino acids will break into glucose and you can put weight again. And if you consume carbs, that's the only way by secretion of insulin um, and bringing the uh, blood sugars down, uh, it getting stored as a fat. So the idea is to stop that little steps that are creating fat storage. So the journey to lose weight should start with not gaining weight. There's a couple of little pointers to, to consider. First, it's a low carbohydrate diet. And if you do like to consume carbohydrates, consume them in the form of whole food, cruciferous vegetables, vegetables in general. Do not uh, juice them, do not uh, mash them, just consume them the way they are. The second point is do not snack, because every time you snack, you again create an insulin wave and um, things energy getting stored as fat. So that's two easiest way from beginning to stop piling on weight. But to lose weight, we need to go a little bit further. We need to start oxidizing a uh, uh, stored fat. We need to get it into bloodstream so it can oxidize and, and uh, get um, used for energy. And again, that is not possible if you are always eating. So try to create a um, schedule where you would like to probably eat two meals a day, ideally one meal a day. But let's say you can um, eat uh, two meals a day, trying to eat um, quite rich breakfast, uh, mostly fats and proteins and quite moderate lunch. And then in the evening, try not to eat and go to sleep. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing I would like you to do is have a shot of apple cider vinegar. Not every apple cider vinegar is equal. I'll put links down below what to consume. Ideally, you would drink it. I guess, you know, 50 to 100 grams is enough. But if you cannot stomach apple cider vinegar, uh, uh, take a pill. I'll put um, um, both links down below where, where to get them and start your day. So first of all, apple cider vinegar will uh, uh, help acidity of your, of your gut. Naturally, we're alkaline and acidity would help you to digest uh, future foods that you consume. Second, it will bring blood sugars down. When you wake up, 
um, you've got a lot of cortisol in your body which is suppresses melatonin that's what wakes you up so uh, cortisol hormone of stress uh, producing um, 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 blood sugars is uh, as part of the process and that process needs to be stopped or suppressed and the best way to suppress it is to have uh, apple cider vinegar then ideally uh, if you are men exercise on an empty stomach what we call fasted you already let's say you slept for seven eight hours and you didn't eat four or five hours before dinner so you're already fasting for 14 hours for men most beneficial exercise to get most out of it should be fasted women a little bit more lucky in that respect you can accept fasted or unfasted i still would exercise fasted for um for benefits and if you can finish or even start your exercise with um, dry sauna it's even better then have your first meal try to make breakfast one of the richest meals of the day make sure that it, it has very little carbohydrates wait a little bit of time and drink your coffee if you can drink coffee without milk that's awesome i'd suggest if you're craving something that coffee uh, I'm not talking about sugar, it shouldn't be part of your coffee routine at all. There's a lot of good artificial sweeteners. I already created a video uh, on artificial sweeteners. I posted down below, or no, I posted at the end of the video, link uh, above. Um, if you're on a budget, um, I would say, uh, and you like sweet coffee, add erythritol. If you can afford, add monk fruit, but also read the, read the label because in Australia, really hard to get 100% um, monk fruit that will be still blended with erythritol. And if you would like some creamer in your coffee, use um, coconut cream, use ghee, use butter. Do not use milk because milk contains lactose and lactose is sugar. So it will again spike your insulin and we're trying to avoid that. As you may notice that I put most of the emphasis when we're talking about losing weight not on exercise and not on dieting and the reason is that because none of those work exercise is really important in life for totally different reasons and dieting don't belong to lifestyle at all because dieting is something temporary that you do it cannot stay permanent uh, and it's really hard to sustain and what happens if you're dieting at some stage you will finish your diet and you'll pile on your kilos because you're creating your habits. So I'd say eat well, don't eat frequently, sleep well, have a apple cider vinegar, do moderate, if you can afford intense exercise, not too many times a week uh, because you can over exercise easily and exercise is stress and you don't wanna add stress to your stressful lifestyle already. And that should be your first step in a, um, weight loss journey just remember you cannot start losing weight instantly almost any process in the body takes time if you lost a kilo or two kilos or three kilos in the first day or two it's most likely will be water retention or a cannibalizing muscle in some way so i would not pay attention to that it may in the future even discourage you from um putting any effort in because progressively the water retention or water loss will stop and you stop losing that weight so do not pay attention to scales pay attention to mirror to your mood to your happiness and that's a great first step in a loss and a weight loss journey uh, please check down below all the links i posted and hopefully those products will be helpful for you and if you would like more information about how to lose weight what possible natural supplements to take to supplement your lifestyle or how to achieve better results in whatever you do please post comment comment down below and i try to create separate videos on those subjects thank you for watching greg from brisbane australia until next time